All right, guys, welcome to another Dokkan Battle video. Now, I know I'm a little bit late on this info, but at the same time, uh, more stuff has come out about his like calcs and defense stuff. So I figured I I'd still make the video. Anyway, so into EZA, future Gohan's details are out. Let's go ahead and discuss them real quick. His leader skill is Bond of Master and Disciple or Hybrid Saiyans, key plus three and attack, HP and defense 170%. Not a bad leader skill, of course. Um, you could always use it for stuff like uh, Ultimate Clash, but obviously not as your main leader. Uh, his super attack effect is greatly raises attack and defense from one turn when it was just greatly raised defense for one turn and causes immense damage to enemy. Pretty good. I, I mean, getting attack is definitely the best of all the stuff that you could have gotten. I mean, the lowering attack, lowering defense, all that stuff is usually pretty worthless. So just getting the attack raise is pretty all right. Um, and then his easy eight passive is key plus one and attack and defense 150%, gain an additional 50% attack and defense when performing a super attack, reduces damage received by 58% when HP is 70% or less, bond and master and disciple category allies key plus two and attack and defense 50%, high chance to guard all out all attacks when I was at all allies. Hard, high chance to guard all attacks when there is a ally whose name includes Trunks, obviously not the kid or GT, attacking in the same turn and then he transforms when conditions are met. Once he goes Super Saiyan, he raises his attack infinitely, loses his defense on Super, and then has the medium chance to perform a critical hit. The medium chance to perform a critical hit could definitely be good. I, Out of all the options he could have gotten, I think this was definitely the most disappointing one. Like, even just getting defense for one turn, getting uh, defense stacking, that might have been asking for too much considering as damage reduction, but again, just going for something simple like defense for uh, either one turn, three turns, however much they want to limit it would have been much better. Then his EZA passive is Rage Against the Androids, key plus three, attack and defense 158%, gain an additional attack and defense 58% when performing a super attack, pretty good. Reduces damage received by 58%, so it's no longer uh, with the 70% or less, but that was how it was pre-transformation regardless, or, or pre-EZA regardless. Then it gets key plus one and attack and defense 40% per bond of master and disciple category ally attacking in the same turn. Perform an additional attack that has a high chance of becoming a super attack when there is an ally whose name includes trunks with the same restriction as before, attacking in the same turn. Launches an additional super attack when there is an androids or future saga category. This is a pretty good buff going from just androids to androids or future saga when the new events are all really future saga is pretty good, especially since it doesn't clarify or it doesn't uh, say that it's only going to be a future saga extreme enemy. So if we do get uh, like a future saga um, hard event and it is like against Sword of Hope Trunks in the future, he could still be double super and guaranteed. Now let's talk about the disappointing stuff. So if we go over here and look at uh, his defense calculations, thank you Halvard, I hope I pronounced that right as always. Uh, I would definitely recommend checking him out if you like looking at defense calculations. So he goes ahead and does the defense calculations for before and after turning Super Saiyan. So this is it without. So as you can see here, once he has, he has start of turn defense of uh, 257. This is with his best linking partner and also at rainbow star and link level 10. So keep that in mind. Uh, then he gets 580k defense considering that he has guard and the potential to get damage reduction. Uh, I think this is more just fine uh, than anything. And then the 773k is if you get double super. I would definitely recommend going double. Um, I would recommend going for uh, additional attack specifically specifically because he gets so much stuff both uh you know getting attack raises on super after going super saiyan and then just getting the defense raises before going super saiyan and then with 40 percent support it's 292k defense then 657k and 876 again considering he has the potential to get damage reduction the potential to get the guard uh on the teams where you're most likely wanting to be running a trunks regardless so bringing him around there and then also giving the support to i obviously i don't i don't really think about or i i wouldn't really recommend running support options with support options but because he stops being a support later on when he goes super saiyan 
I don't think it would be the worst thing to think about that. Um, and then his max possible defense is obviously with the 40% support, uh, or most realistic max possible defense is 876k. Then if we look at the Super Saiyan side, he starts off with 177k without Cold Judgment, um, but without any Bond of Master and Disciple units. With Bond of Master and Disciple, he starts off with 259k. Even with 58% damage reduction, I just don't think this is enough. If we look at, again, units like, and I keep, I keep saying this, because so far he's the best EZA out of the celebration. If we look at a unit like AGL Zamasu, he's stacking defense and then gets slightly lower damage reduction, and he's still taking a good amount of damage from these harder bosses, and we're not even in part two yet. Part three is going to absolutely just demolish this guy, I would think. Especially if, like I said, when we're looking at it where AGL Zamasu, who has slightly lower damage reduction and is building up defense, and he's getting somewhere near 500k uh, defense, is just not able to tank some of these harder super attacks. I think it is something to think about with this Gohan. He looks like he could be good if you look at um, the attack stats, but I think he's just, just going to be the, one of those units where he just dies if he gets supered. And it, it, it really is disappointing, again, because so far they've really fumbled all of the super class easy days. <laughs> it's so terrible. Why are they ruining all of my favorite characters? And then with 40% support, uh, it's 287k up to 454. Again, that's without Cold Judgment. He clarified here that it's without Cold Judgment. Uh, if he links up with the physical Super Saiyan Dokkan Fest, it's... Oh yeah, wait, no, it's... 6 out of 7. If he gets Cold Judgment, he can get 347k and then 548k post super. So yes, Cold Judgment does play a major part and because this is a form you're going to see on turn 4 most of the time, it's fine for like middle of the fight, but the second that you get to like those harder content uh, stages you get into the later portions of the fight I do think this guy is just gonna pretty much die like super easily because again all he gets is defense uh, when performing a super attack that, that's all he gets he doesn't get defense from like performing multiple supers or, or anything else to help him and it, and it really is sad when uh, this was a, a guy I was really looking forward to the EZA of but maybe we have to see in game. Uh, I don't know if it'll be a little bit better, but again, uh, unless these stats are wrong, uh, and I, I don't, I don't think they are, because this guy is a pretty, pretty good with uh, doing the stats and defense calculations. If if these are correct, this is horrible. Like 444k, 454k. Uh, on a brand new Dokkan Fest unit that only has 58% damage reduction, when these bosses on turn one are hitting over a million uh, attack stat, on turn one, if we look at like uh, turn uh, five or phase two, whatever you want to say, these guys are hitting like almost two million. So you really have to keep up with those those numbers and this just is it's it's really bad it, it really is truly awful but uh and then uh, i guess we could talk about it too um let's just let me just pull it up real quick here uh tech super saiyan trunks also is getting an easy a he has a uh, pretty thorough way you know leader skill again only really good in ultimate clash his heat dome attack extreme greatly raises attack and defense for one turn rather than just uh oh wait no he also lowers defense so yeah as always this is the worst thing you could get 150 <laughs> percent attack and defense at the start of turn getting additional attack and defense and chance to perform a critical hit 25 percent per attack performed up to 50 percent so he has a 50 percent crit chance key plus three plus an additional attack and defense 100 percent when there is an ally whose name includes 
Gohan Future on the team, plus an additional key plus 6 and performs a critical hit when there is an Android's category enemy, plus an additional 100% attack when facing an enemy whose name includes Cell. Yeah, no, this, this guy is also bad too. <laughs> They're, they they are really bad. Yeah, just this, 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 this person showed it, it really is just the tech the tech trunks curse the tech super saiyan trunks curse well, I guess uh, but I guess just tech trunks because it's super trunks right there, but Man, what were they doing with this? This is a, a horrible thing And that's the thing that I, I, I never understand is if you're gonna have a lot of restrictions on these characters And you're gonna make it where they have to have something to make them much better why not just make them busted look at look at the uh let me go back look at the the pre super saiyan he's getting more in in pre-transformation than he gets post like where's the guard chance why not just make that just literally copy this and paste it and put like great chance to guard all attacks when there's an ally who includes trunks I could care less about the high chance to super. I'll just be honest. I could care less about it. As even if it is raising attack infinitely, I don't care about it. Like he's already going to be doing a good amount of damage regardless, I would hope. So why not just make it where if he's so reliant on having Bond of Master and Disciple allies around him, supporting Bond of Master and Disciple before, and then needing them after transformation or else he actually just looks unusable like completely unusable 280k without any bond of master and disciple it is a, a pretty easy restriction or er, restriction because bond of master and disciple isn't the worst but still going for just an entire bond of master and disciple team to help this guy out or at least two units and then one who's floating like wh why why wouldn't you make this guy better I, I i the mindset that i always have is if you're gonna have a character who has a lot of restrictions on them make them the best unit like possible with the, with those restrictions like look at super saiyan blue kaioken goku look at um who's another unit who needs a lot of units on their team hail uh, like those people those units are the best on their team specifically because of what what they do when they have those allies around them and even if their team holds them back a bit i would still prefer that than they're just unusable com completely without <laughs> without the team and then they're only decent with that team because it, it's just it's just dumb i don't know let me know what you guys think uh I, I don't want to make this video too long uh, especially because i, I want to go record uh some more attempt runs so yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, I'm pretty disappointed about the EZA. I'll just be open and honest about it. Let me know what you guys' uh, thoughts and opinions are in the comments. I'm always happy to have a conversation. But I hope you guys have a great Easter week. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.